Welcome to our exciting adventure in Cortona, Italy. Nestled in the heart of Tuscany, this charming hilltop town is a true gem waiting to be discovered. Join us as we wander through Cortona's ancient walls, savor the local cuisine, and immerse ourselves in the Italian way of life. Get ready to be captivated by the magic of Cortona. One of the things that we were really looking forward to coming to Italy was getting out into the countryside, especially the Tuscan countryside, and exploring the more rural areas. So we decided to visit the little town of Cortona. It is a beautiful medieval town that sits here on basically a little mountain, and it is just so picturesque and beautiful, and we can't wait to share it with you. One of the first things you're going to notice when you get to this town is, number one, being on top of a mountain, there's only really one flat street in the entire town. Also, you'll notice the age, especially of the walls. This was actually settled by pre-Roman people called the Etruscans. And the architecture is absolutely fascinating. Okay, so we've been traveling most of the day and we haven't had a chance to sit down and have anything to eat. But we found this great little shop called La Botejia right here on the main street in Cortona. And they have a lot of great artisanal products. They do charcuterie kind of platters. Matt and Mick ordered cheese platter and we ordered a meat platter. We're gonna have some honey and jams along with it. We got a drink. Salute. 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 Life is good. This is gonna be great. Black truffle is one of those things that you either love or hate. I happen to absolutely love it. And they have these crostinis that are just covered black truffle. They're so aromatic. Let's give this a try. This is actually not super strong. This may possibly be some of the best black truffle I have ever had. I don't know if there's something else in it, but it's not as strong. It definitely, it smells strong, but it, it tastes just wonderful. I can't even explain it. These boards are absolutely amazing. Everything is so fresh tasting. We actually watched her cut everything. I think this is a prosciutto here. It is so salty and delicious. This is heaven for me, like, yes. That has to be some of the best meats and cheeses I've ever had in my entire life. The black truffle especially, I'm just gonna rave about it because if you know, you know, it was absolutely incredible. They also have a selection of meats, cheeses that you can buy directly from the shop and make your own charcuterie board at home or here. I'm not sure you can take it back to the United States. I think if you live in the EU, you can, but wow, totally amazing, totally worth it. Y'all, I am so in love with this town. So it's popular from the movie Under the Tuscan Sun. It is just so picturesque and beautiful here. These stairways behind me are all throughout the city and they are just so beautiful. And so many of them have flowers and plants and all kinds of beautiful stuff. And then the shops here are just amazing. And everybody is so friendly. And we meet, even met like the friendliest kitty in the world. This is Beaky, he works here at the store. Hi, Beaky. All right, so it is time for dinner. This video may actually be a little food heavy because there is just so many good things here and everything is so highly rated that we just wanna try as much as we can. But we have a dinner reservation tonight for Taberna Gozzaviglia. I mean, I am I am just so happy to be eating all this pasta and Italian food that I just, I can't get enough. So let's get in there and get some dinner. Okay, we just wrapped up with dinner. That may be the absolute best meal that we've had in Italy so far, and that is saying a lot because every meal that we've had here has been absolutely incredible. I really believe that Tuscany is, so number one, they're known for their, you know, simple rustic foods. However, just the flavor combinations are just, are absolutely incredible. And they use such a minimal amount of ingredients. I had the peachy al fumo for my main course tonight, which is basically a peachy pasta, nice thick noodle with some tomato cream and a little bacon in it. And that is it. So they had a sauce of the day, which was a white duck sauce. And I asked them what kind of pasta he 
recommended with it because you could get it from with several kinds and I had the Pappardelle. I think that's how you say it, Pappardelle. Yes. But it's a nice wide thick noodle and they're like one of my favorite noodles now I think. You had the the duck fat with the nice beautiful, it was just savory, chewy, it was everything you would want in a pasta dish. But before that we did have the... It was a beef tartare, fresh shaved black truffles, and a couple little condiments on the side like onions and capers, some mustard, and, and some kind of like a, maybe like a little chive. I don't know what kind of binder they use. I believe they used egg yolk, and it's typical in a tartare to do that. They did use the uh, Chianani beef. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, you may know that better as the, it's the same beef or breed of cattle that they use for the Bistecca al Florentina that we had in our last video. That was absolutely amazing. And this was no different. It was super fresh tasting with the beautiful like umami of the truffle on top. It was perfect. You cannot come to this area of Tuscany and not try some truffle if you like truffle. We are in the heart of truffle country and of the beef. There is a lot to experience here. Like I said, this place is foodie heaven. Oh, we didn't even tell them about dessert. Oh my gosh, I mean, dessert. we're talking a lot right now, but we had a hot chocolate cake. It's like a chocolate lava cake, and it was absolutely delicious. And what was the other one? It was a, uh, a pear and ricotta cheesecake, which was phenomenal. It was so light. It was... Oh, the cream in it. I just can't get over it. All right, guys. So we are going to go head to... Take a walk, because I need to walk some of this off. And then we're going to get a little bit of rest, yes, because we we've got... got a whole day here tomorrow to still explore more. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning and the place to be here in Cortona on Saturday is the Saturday market. So from our understanding, this market happens every Saturday morning throughout the year. I'm guessing even in the winter time, rain, whatever, but it's right near the Piazza della Repubblica. Even here where we're kind of off season and there's not a whole lot of tourists here, it's still a pretty good sized little market. Here you're gonna find everything from food to clothes to local arts and crafts and- Even toiletries and stuff and cleaning supplies. There's one little guy that has all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a great way to start the day. And then after we're exploring this, we definitely need to get some caffeine because we have not had any of that yet. Speaking of the Piazza del Repubblica, behind me is actually the town hall, and it has been the town hall since around the 13th century. It's one of the most prominent landmarks here in Cortona, and the bell tower still chimes every hour on the hour and it's also known for the square clock. In this square, you can see multiple different periods of architecture from Etruscan to Renaissance to modern. So it's a really interesting mashup and a really cool place to explore. Okay, so we have been roaming around town here and we found this amazing little art shop called Il Pozzo, which means the well. And there is actually an old well in the store and it dates back to 400 BC during the Etruscan period. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, we can't film inside other than we took some shots of the well, but there's some amazing local art here. And you, this is one place you absolutely need to stop and take a look at while you're here in Cortona. Like, I wish we could show you some of the art because I'm just astounded. It's stunning. I am astounded by it. If I lived here, I'd buy all my local art right here because it's just amazing. Um, so definitely come check this out if you enjoy art or you just want to see a little bit of that really ancient history from this area. It's absolutely spectacular. All right, so now that we've explored the little town a little bit, we're about to head all the way to the top, which is all uphill to the Basilica of Santa Margarita. So, Catholic History Minute with Matt. This is the Santuaria di Santa Margarita. Saint Margaret is, her remains are actually interred at one of the altars in this church. She was from the small town of Chiuzzi and fell in love with a nobleman uh, from a neighboring village. He was not allowed to marry her at the time, but he brought her to Montepulciano as his mistress, which was far more acceptable. At that point, he went off one day hunting and never turned back up so she 
followed the, one of the hunting dogs out into the woods and found his body there. He'd been murdered by somebody, at which point she decided that her life of sin as his mistress had caused that to happen, took a vow of penitence and poverty, and joined a convent. And I don't know what happened to her after that. <laughs> All right, guys, we just kind of spent the evening after the church kind of, I guess, just taking in the rest of Cortona as this is our, unfortunately, our last night. Yeah, we really wish we had planned a little bit more time here. And it is really cold tonight. Like the wind is whipping out here, we're like freezing. So we're gonna keep this pretty short. If you are in Italy, make sure you come visit Cortona. It's absolutely amazing. And we're, we're about to get over. ran over by a car, oh, it's okay. but it's okay. We survived, so okay. this video <laughs> will come out. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit a the thumbs up button. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell, guys. Until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.